Hello, this is All World's News with Catherine Polly. The headlines. The sensational diaries of renowned Middle East traveler Mr. Baggins are going to be published shortly. The fans of the novel There and Back Again are once more preparing to assail bookshops around the world. Mr. Baggins will present to the public his secret diaries, revealing previously unknown juicy details of his famous journey which astounded the Middle East. The first press run of the book has been printed recently. The official launch is on the 2nd of December. The bookmakers are taking bets on which of the book's revelations is going to be the most scandalous. The true story of how the king under the mountain's nephews managed to lose ponies during their watch, along with some details of the king's private life, are among the hot favorites. His Majesty King Oakenshield, in his short but hot-hitting letter for our news agency, accused Mr. Baggins of disturbing the facts. His nephews, Princess Philly and Killy, on the contrary, praised the book, commenting only of some minor discrepancies and inconsistencies. According to the latest reports, the royal family is currently preoccupied with the rebuilding of Erebo after the Battle of the Five Armies. Ragnarok will be reenacted on the beaches of Auckland, New Zealand. The experts of Scandinavian mythology predict that long-awaited Ragnarok, the death of the gods, is going to happen on the 22nd of February 2014. It seems unavoidable. The Gallant Horn, giant horn herald in the end of the world, was recently been sounded in York, England. While the population of the Northern Hemisphere seems to be seriously concerned, in New Zealand, on the other side of the world, the imminent end of days received completely different treatment. It was decided to reenact Ragnarok in the shores of North Island. New Zealand Daily, through the well-known Auckland PR agency GPR, announced that volunteers are being sought to take part in this large-scale event. Latest news from Asgard. Search is continuing for goddess Idun, who is missing since yesterday afternoon. As the operation within the city yielded no results, the All Father directed the special branch headed by Heimdall to extend the search to the rest of the Nine Realms. Bragi, the distraught husband of the goddess, set out for Midgard in the hope of finding his wife there. He was seen in the company of young attractive females, who presumably were hired to assist him in his search. Meanwhile, Asgard is on the verge of panic. Gods are rapidly aging without Eden's magical apples. There is a threat that the whole population of the city will perish if the goddess is not found soon. Dina Gorman, an actor, artist and photographer from New Zealand, is celebrating his birthday today. He won worldwide renown for playing Prince Philly in The Hobbit – Unexpected Journey, the screen adaptation for the first part of Tolkien's iconic book. During our broadcast today, people from all over the world are sending us birthday wishes for Dean, which you can read on the news ticker on the bottom of the screen. We would like to join in and wish Mr. Gorman health, joy, happiness and, of course, every success in his artistic career. We are looking forward to your new films and exhibitions. Happy birthday, Mr. Gorman! Ragnarok will be reenacted on the beaches of... Yeah. Ragnarok will be... There's no lots. Ragnarok will be reenacted on the beaches of... Beaches? Да? Всё, осталось снять. Happy birthday, Mr. Gorman.